Today I'm running back another Nightmare Run with all modifiers on to help out those who are looking for tips and tricks to get their diamond ranks, this time featuring the Flamethrower. As a friendly disclaimer, this is less of a guide and more of a live run where I share my thought process and tips on how to have successful runs without getting stuffed too hard by RNG. Since this is live commentary and I'd like this video to stand alone, I'll try to mention tips and tricks from previous videos, but if you find this helpful, I recommend checking out the other videos in the series. Today I'm using the Flamethrower, continuing the trend of starting these videos with weapons that many consider the most challenging to win with. Uh, Flamethrower is unique in that it's one of the few weapons that starts with a weapon mod, Fire Shot. It has some other cool characteristics in that it has natural piercing, and it creates these uh, patches of fire on the ground to do a little bit of extra damage and apply a little bit of extra fire. The trade-off is that um, Flamethrower probably has one of the lowest base damages in the game, with each shot only doing one damage. Uh, make, it makes it a little bit harder to scale in that regard. So for this run, I'm going to be playing to the Flamethrower's strengths as much as possible. I'm going to be leaning pretty heavily into uh, to fire. I'm going to be trying to get elemental chests when I can. And I'll probably pick up other elements along the way, like poison and arcane, just to help out even more. Uh, I'll probably also look out for uh, formation mods, like arc shot and split shot, to try to maximize that fire coverage. And weapon mods that lend well to faster, low damage weapons, like sharp shot, wind up, uppercut as well as mods that add effects on hit or on shot, like Dagger Arc, Bubble Shot, R Shot. Uh, I think for my abilities, I'm going to go with Black Hole, um, just to really supplement the fact that I'm going to be trying to put like fire everywhere. Uh, so this will round up enemies pretty well, and I'll be able to apply fire to all of them. And I'll probably go with Hammer, just to give me a little bit of extra mobility, as well as a little bit of extra AoE to, to complement the, the Black Hole. I would say that Black Hole um, Hammer is a... A pretty, a pretty strong traditional combo on any weapon. You, you'll be able to go pretty far with that. And since the main point of this, these videos is to showcase that you don't really need to lean too heavily into RNG to win, uh, I'm not going to take anything from the Key Totem. If you find these videos valuable and you're trying to get these yourself, you know, hopefully, uh, hopefully the Key Totem just gives you that little bit of extra oomph you need to to win your run. So, with that all said, uh, let's get into it. As usual, I like to start um, every island with trying to break crystals, or these, these rocks, uh, just to get the, the chance to get any extra items. Um, those extra items will only spawn as long as there are enemies still on the map. That's uh, pretty, pretty straightforward. What have we got here? Um, glue Shot's actually a pretty nice pickup for to start with. Danger Close probably wouldn't be too bad. Um, but uh, there might be situations where I'm not super close to enemies, and Chaotic Shot actually wouldn't be too bad either, because like the, the spread on Flamethrower is pretty high already, and since it has Natural Pierce, the, like that, the further spread is not going to be really that problematic. But I'm going to go Glue Shot. This isn't actually going to cause my shots to stick to enemies because of Flamethrower's Natural Pierce, so this is literally just extra damage. Uh, phew, as much as I want to try out this double spike chest, I'm just going to go for the random, I think. I don't think I'm mentally prepared to do a double spike chest right now. Uh, one of the trickiest things about playing with the flamethrower, especially on um, the island biome, is that um, water cleanses fire. That goes for you as well. If you ever get hit by fire, then the water is going to cleanse it. So I kind of have to, as I'm kiting enemies around, um, I want to make sure to... I don't necessarily need to keep them out of the fire, but if I ever have an opportunity to keep them out of the fire, uh, I'm, I'm going to, to try to do that as much as possible. I got a fire shot from this random. That's that's pretty good. Big Mag is kind of tempting too, as is the Bronze Heart, but I think getting a fire shot this early is pretty nice. One thing I'm going to be doing at the end of every island... Um, in your in your settings, you have like a you have an auto loop button. I think this is L by default. Mine's set to Q. Uh, if every at the end of every island, if you press auto loop and you listen closely, if there's a if an extra chest spawns on the island, you can hear that extra chest open. I guarantee we'll run into it at some point during this run, so I can show you what I'm talking about. Um, this is just an easy way to confirm if an extra chest is spawned or not on the island you're on. For this choice, uh, I think I'm going to go Speed Chest because I really want to get a Stamina as, as early as possible to sort of secure my mobility for the run. One big strategy that I'm going to be talking about a lot... Ooh, ooh, nice. 
um, is this concept that I... Oh, wow, this is kind of a dicey island. Uh, this concept that I call corralling, where I I try to keep enemies in a group as much as possible. Um, I'm going to hit that. Uh, I try to keep enemies in a group as much as possible, just so I have an understanding of where en every enemy is on the map at all times. Uh, no stamina, that's okay though. Um, I think I'm going to go with the adrenaline just to give me a little bit of uh, attack speed to start out with here. And I think I'm going to risk it for this one hit. A one hit this early on, especially for a double uh, damage chest, seems like a, a pretty fair trade-off. I can also throw down a, a black hole to sort of give me a little bit of safety. On this... Oh, there's, a pump, there's some pumpkins on the map. On this island, I'm going to back off to this corner over here. Try not to get hit by any stray shots. On this island, there is like a little bit of extra space over here. Um, quite, quite a bit of extra space, actually. So if things get way too dicey, you can always try to uh, come back here. Um, obviously, it's all water, so for the flamethrower, that doesn't really uh, lend well. Um, and it's kind of hard to move in. The main thing you just need to remember is to always uh, jump when you hit the ground as you're moving through water. You can give yourself a dash every so often and give you a little bit of extra momentum. Uh, just be careful, you know. Uh, as much as I want to hit this green totem, I think I'm not going to. Um, just because I don't want to, I don't want to like throw the RNG out of whack too hard for this run. I really want to showcase like a consistent run. Uh, big shot versus power armor is is my question here. Snake grenade is probably not going to be too helpful. Power armor is awesome. Um, however, keep in mind that power armor. This early, like, I'm not going to have that much armor, and uh, I don't have too many things that it's going to scale. Meanwhile, Big Shot lends well, uh, lends really well to Flamethrower. Um, gives me a little bit of extra base damage, gives my fire, like, a, a higher range as I shoot things, so I can just hit more stuff a lot easier. Uh, again, I'm, I'm going to try to lean really hard into throwing fire everywhere. And for this one, I think it's just a clear heavy hitter. Uh, I don't really care much for Sonic Boom. I don't really care much for Iron Claws, especially with a hammer. The extra cooldown might hurt more than it helps. And heavy hitter has the highest um, percentage out of the the blue weapon mods at the 100%. And I don't I don't think it's the the fire rates affecting me too much. Doesn't seem like it anyway. Uh, kind of wants to get this double health. Uh. The Econ is tempting. I'm going to go for the double health and try to get an early fortitude. That would be really helpful for my max health for the run. There's a lot of crystals on this map. Throw down a black hole to cover my... Ooh. Is that a chaotic rep? No. There's a lot of rocks. Notice how I caught that energy ring as it was exploding and just like hung out in the air with my slowdown for a little bit. Let's throw down another black hole right here. These are homing thorns, so I'm going to try to stay away as far as possible. One big thing is, like, again, going back to the what I was talking about with grouping things, I'm going to try to keep everything in a group um, just so I can keep an eye on it as much as possible. Uh, and because this is Nightmare and you don't need to manually pick up crystals or anything like that, I'm going to try to stay at max range as much as possible. Flamethrower's range is a little bit smaller. Uh, yeah, that's probably about the limit right there, especially with Big Shot. Um... So just something to keep in mind with that, but hopefully it won't be too bad. I'm going to open up this other chest first. Uh, these aren't great. I think I'll take the bronze armor here. And um, I might actually take the bullseye on the off chance that I can one-shot. Especially in this early, these early islands, I might be able to eke out a little bit of extra health by using my hammer to one-shot things. And as much as I want to take this spike chest, I think I'm going to actually go for the shop and... Um, Hope I can pick up like a perk or two. Plus some extra crystals. Let's see what we got. No, no, no. These are not great. Uh, I don't think I'm ever going to need more healing. And I don't really care much for range, especially with the hammer. Uh, money shot's pretty tempting. That's actually a pretty nice replacement for the econ chest that I skipped out on before. Um, and if I reroll, I'm probably not going to be able to afford anything. So I'm just going to take that heart. 
Actually, I could hit this Crystal Totem and get the healing from the shop. Lightning Shot is actually kind of tempting to give me a little bit of extra AoE, especially with the Black Hole. But also, I can just keep pumping this uh, Crystal Totem if I take the... They take that silver heart. Uh, I'm gonna try out the lightning shot. That sounds fun. Let's do it. Uh, I really, I'm tempted to hit this again. Yeah, one more time. We'll do another reroll. Let's see what we get. An equalizer. That's probably gonna be the auto pickup. I'm not gonna. So equalizer. Um, in case you're not familiar with it, the the main goal is that all of these weapon categories need to be an even number. There's there's some common misconceptions that they need to be equal. So like I would need six mods, six grenade mods, and six perk mods. Um, but that's not the case any longer. They just need to be even number. So because this is six, one, two, th two, four, six, this is good. One, two, three, this is not good. Equalizer is not active. I need an extra perk if I want Equalizer to be active. However, uh, this early on, I'm not gonna worry too much about keeping it active. Um, I'm just making sure I don't want anything else since I have, oh gosh, like I might as well just keep hitting this Crystal Totem. Play reroll again. I'll take a speed demon. I guess I can equalize with that. Um, this early on, I'm not too worried about um, amping my damage up that much, especially because I don't really have that much damage to amp up anyway. Uh, so I'll, I'll, I'm not going to worry too much about keeping it equalized, but at some point I'm going to start heavily thinking about keeping it equalized and getting one this early will ensure that I keep getting them. Like I said, th this is actually a tough choice. Elemental versus damage. Uh, I think like getting an early sharp shot would be really cool here. But I also really want to get some elemental going, so I'm going to go elemental. If I could pick up a poison shot, um, that'll probably be about as equivalent to uh, whoop, to um, getting a sharp shot. That lightning shot seems to be doing well. I see a poison crab on the field. I'm going to be mindful of that because those things kind of suck. And there's a fire crab too. This is kind of a dicey map. The fire crab's in the middle. I just want to watch my side. Yeah. Watch it inside, I should say. Again, just making sure I know where everything is on the field at all times. Use my hammer for some extra mobility in the water. Easy enough. One thing that I really like to do on this map is um, break the crystal up there while enemies are still down. So if, I'll probably try to leave like a crab or something up to... Um, to uh, keep the keep the driller proc chance live, but on that map, it's kind of tricky with the fire crab and the poison crab. To to get up here, I usually start right here. Um, I'm still gonna go up there and try to get that crystal. I usually start right here. Uh, since I have the hammer, this part's really gonna be easy. But if you don't have the hammer, if you're running like um, if you without the hammer and just a flamethrower, you can easily make this jump by jumping right here, slowing down. Let me get into this position. Ooh, there we go, just like that. Uh, I have learned recently that even if you have dual weapons, there's a way to get up here. Uh, you can make that jump pretty easily. The tricky part is you can't make this jump unless you move your crab like just off the edge there. The, the, the mechanical thinking here is that we need a little bit of a slope in order to dash. And so while you're on this slope, you're, we're going to slide and then jump, and that should give us the extra momentum that we need in order to get up there, he says as he as he messes up the first attempt. I'm still practicing this myself. Uh, it's not something that I do often. And go. Not quite. There we go, just like that. So we, we have to kind of use the, the sidewall of the rock in order to give us a ramp to slide across. And the sliding is what we need, especially at that vertical like trajectory. The sliding is what we need to uh, to get up here, or just use the hammer. You know, that's that's an option too. Ah, looks like we got an extra chest up here too. Fire starter. That's a that's a great pull. No more crystals. Cool. We're gonna drop down. 
Let's see what we got. Um, another fire starter. I want to pick up the oil can, actually. Uh, I just like oil can a lot, and I want to get one early so I can start like stacking it. I also feel pretty good about my fire application for now, especially with the, the fire starter I just picked up. So nice, nice pulls on that island for sure. Uh, that equalizes me as well. And I'm definitely gonna go for this this double damage chest. The rush might be kind of hard, but I think with the amount of AOE I have with um, black hole and uh, hammer and all that, I, I should be good. Gonna try to skirt on the outside edge here. Again, I'm gonna keep every enemy on the map in front of me at all times, just so I know where everything's at. Throw down black hole every so often if I need to corral them even more. Uh, I'll throw out some hammers too. That bullseye's going nuts, actually. The bullseye might have been a, a good pickup after all. Got another hammer. Especially this early on, um, where I can more easily secure the the one-shots. Sometimes when I pick up like an early uh, bullseye or assassin, um, especially when I have the hammer, I'll, I'll even go so far as to not hit things and, and just wait for my hammer cooldown to come up so I can guarantee some, some procs. That was easy enough. That was also like a long horde island, so good rush island. Uh, there's another equalizer. Tempted to take the power armor, but I guess equalizer is pretty much the same thing. And there's an uppercut. Yeah, I want to run that. Uppercut's great on. Um, so like the the flamethrower has like a decently sized mag at um, 45 shots, which essentially means that I have uh, nine procs of uppercut. Assuming I remember how math works. Uh, which is like 300% damage. Again, it's not going to be crazy high on Flamethrower. It's only going to be plus 3 damage. But as our as our damage starts to build up a little bit more, that'll that'll go a long way. Got a good amount of crystals out of all that too. So far, feeling pretty good. Um, I'm definitely going to pick up this gemstone. An early gemstone is really nice to start scaling throughout the rest of the run. Again, we, we have like 50 islands to go. So it's definitely going to get... Plenty of value. Uh, I don't know what else of these. I don't. I don't. I don't think I want any of these. Value customer wouldn't be bad. I just don't know what my crystal generation is going to look like throughout the run. And I don't think I need fast shot. Um, yeah. And I don't want the heart. Let's see what else we got. Another uppercut is kind of interesting, but I'm also kind of tempted to get the special delivery, especially because it's on. Can I get both? Oh god, too much math today. No, I can't get both. Uh, I could sell the speed demon. Yeah, I don't think I necessarily need the speed demon, but another uppercut. Again, uppercut just like, it starts ramping up so well. So now we're at six damage. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the build so far. It's working out. That's a lot of rocks. Holy hell. I'm just gonna try to pop all these. Um, we'll hide in the corner over here. Oh. We'll we got double elite lightning crabs. Um, I'm going to try my best to use these pillars for coverage. Get some attacks on them when I can. I'm getting pretty lucky with my dodges. Fire damage is doing quite a bit of work. This is where flamethrower really shines. So I can really just apply a bunch of fire and then walk away. Especially with the oil can too. I'm going to get the supercharge. Sniper turret and uh, layered grenade are just not the play for my build. The supercharge sounds wonderful. That lightning shot is starting to kind of come into gear too, especially with the black hole. This island can be um, a little tricky. Just making sure. Ah, oh, yeah, look at that. So this island can be tricky. Um, you start here. If you move forward and fight them in this area, you'll probably be good. Sometimes the, the island's going to be a little bit tougher than that, and you need to hide out here. And when, when you do that, some enemies will come on this left side, so you just want to make sure that you, you watch both sides as much as possible. Uh, these are all pretty bunk, but I think I'll take the recoil shot, because this will just be a little bit of extra damage, and... Um, Plus zero extra damage, apparently. And the recoil of the flamethrower is really not that noticeable. 
Uh, gosh, I am tempted to get Critical Chest. It just doesn't really work that well for what I'm trying to do. Fire can't crit. Maybe at some point I'll be able to pick up a, a critical arrow and I'll just have so much, so many shots going around everywhere that it'll make up for the fact that fire can't crit. On this map, I kind of prefer to hang out on this this side over here. Um, what I like to do is leverage this this hill a lot. I'll climb up and then jump over everything. And that gives me kind of a safe approach. I'm going to be jumping over things a lot. The more the more vertical I have, the less likely things are going to hit me while I'm in the air. Nice. Uh, and I'll get a sharpshooter here. When it comes to um, sharpshooter versus hotshot, I think it's a personal preference. I think objectively speaking, hotshot is probably better as long as you're comfortable enough to not get hit. Uh, personally, I've never had any problems with Sharpshooter. I, f I always feel like I get enough crit if I stack Sharpshooter, so that's usually my go-to. And for this one, I'm definitely going to go for this, this Damage Chest Horde. Uh, I, I have a particular strategy on this one that I like, if only because it gets kind of silly. Uh, I like to hang out on this side of the island and use this little valley in order to stack things up. And then I'll try my best to, to jump over to the other side when things get a little bit too dicey and just kind of rinse and repeat. Especially with the hammer, because it gives me that extra jump that I need. This gets really funny when you um, get like a Crimson Haze, because the Crimson Haze pools just kind of build up in the middle and everything just stacks up and dies. Uh, another Equalizer versus another Big Shot. So I, I love Big Shot, and I'll probably end up getting more and more Big Shots as we go, but eventually I'm going to stop getting Big Shots because one unfortunate downside to Big Shot is it lowers your range. Uh, I could probably showcase it here. Let's see. Uh, so you can kind of see that a lot of... Some of those are not, not quite reaching us. Some of them are. Well, maybe I'm just lying to myself, huh? Anyway, main point is if I get rid of Big Shot, then they'll probably all hit pretty easily. Uh, too many Big Shots can lower your range uh, is the main point here. So I'm probably going to go for the Equalizer, especially because I think Equalizer is just great. And for this one, I'm going to go Health and try to get some armor going. Ooh, we got a big crystal. Oh man, that was a good pull too. Got some skulls on the field. Skulls are probably um, the hardest thing for flamethrower to deal with, just because of that lower range. I'm gonna try to use the, the cover as much as possible to deal with them. And notice how I'm I'm trying to move as sporadically as possible too. I'm not just moving in straight lines left and right. Um, I'm not just I'm I'm moving in and out as well. Uh, enemies will. They'll tend to shoot at your position, but you'll you'll be surprised how often you can dodge something by just moving forward and ducking underneath it, or moving backwards and just moving out of where it would hit you. Uh, the main goal is to, to move as sporadically as possible, try to move in circles as much as possible. Uh, but our, our, the thinking here, I guess I'm going more bullseye. Yeah. The thinking here is to, um, we're trying to trick the, the game's tracking for the enemies. Enemies are really good at tracking, and if you just move straight left and right, uh, eventually they'll start to predict where you're moving and shoot ahead of you. So I'm going to try to exploit that and move left or right to get them to shoot in a certain direction and then just immediately turn the other direction. Uh, it'll it'll end up making for some really easy and clean dodges, and for this I'm definitely going the parkour. Uh, ice parkour is probably the hardest parkour. I don't think any of them are particularly tricky, but if you're if you're not super familiar with parkours, um, the ice one is probably the the one that'll trip you up the most. The main thing to remember is that like don't rush yourself. You have plenty of time. I like to jump over this. You should be able to do it no problem with just a single dash. And the ice here is super slippery, so just try to control yourself as much as possible don't do any like fancy double jumps or anything like that just land do a nice slide do a nice jump and you'll have you'll have plenty to work with uh, i think i want to go another supercharged here because i think that sounds hilarious the extra black hole is also kind of tempting but i i don't think i'm gonna need it and as much as i 
This is a tough choice because I, st I still want to grab a stamina. I think I'll probably find a stamina eventually anyway. Um, out of sheer value, I might go for the, the double crit just because I'm going to get two perks versus the one. Maybe I can find a, a critical arrow here. Oh, hey, like that. <laughs> Hot shot. Yeah, why not? Grab it. Oh, we got a we got a leak crystal for that too. I'm gonna try to hit that before things get too dicey. Uh, ice slugs, that's not bad. I know every enemy is on this side, so I'm gonna throw down that. My supercharge is going nuts. That's a healthy slug. One got past me, so I'm gonna turn around and try to deal with it real quick. Also, I already forgot this is a horde map. On this map, I kind of try to hang out uh, in this back area to give me as much room as possible before other enemies get to me. Oh, this is getting dicey. Use my black hole defensively and my hammer defensively to jump over things. I like to jump on these rocks in order to get over everything and stack them up. Didn't get the rush, unfortunately. Probably got too distracted. Uh, what do we got here? A mega crit. This is weird how much crit I'm getting. I'm getting a critical arrow? There it is. Nice. Uh, yeah, we'll just keep pumping. Oh, and we got an extra chest. What a, a bountiful island. Um, I honestly don't think Trickshot and Flamethrower is that bad because of how often I do hit fire. But there are moments where I go into um, to aim fire to try to focus one thing down since it's, it tightens your spread by quite a bit. Uh, so I don't think I'm going to take this. I think I'm just going to salvage that. And here I'm definitely going to go for the, the speed chest. One thing I want to mention really quick, um, you may have noticed, like, sometimes I'll I'll do a hammer jump and only get so high. And then uh, sometimes I'll do a hammer jump and get much higher. If you if you jump and then do a hammer, it's really nice for to, like, maintain your, your forward momentum if you need to, like, escape or just, like, uh, get further away from enemies in order to gain some distance so you can shoot at them. Uh, but if you if you use your hammer and then jump immediately after, you'll get a little bit of extra uh, vertical. The the momentum from your jump gets applied to the momentum that you gain from your hammer, and it lets you just jump really high. And if you time it right and you time a dash right at the end of the jump, then you can uh, sort of chain it into like an extended dash without losing any um, any vertical. It's pretty nice. I'm not too good at it quite yet. That was kind of an example of it. There's ways that you can really start soaring. Uh, yeah, some people are way better at it than I am. And for here, I'm going to go speed because I really want a stamina. I think stamina is probably the uh, one of the most useful perks in the game, uh, and I try to get it every chance I get. Uh, some people might not necessarily need it, and that's totally fine. I think it, uh, oh god, okay, oh god. I'm just going to start running away from everything. I know over here is pretty safe. I'm going to try to thin out the group before I try to deal with those ice skulls. This is a huge map, so I can I can really just take my time with it. I'll throw down a black hole here, just to keep things up a little bit more. So ice skulls are trying to, starting to catch up to me. Oh, and a blocker skull. Wow, that guy was jumped far. I'm checking behind me every so often too, just to make sure nothing sneaks up on me. That's probably like the biggest thing that can catch you off guard is like some random crap or something that's managed to sneak up on you. And now I can deal with these ice schools. Notice how I'm like, I'm gonna be moving back and forth in circles. Uh, I'm gonna be moving forward and backwards. Ice schools tend to shoot pretty uh, pretty horizontally in these spreads. So um, it's pretty easy to duck underneath. See how it shot forward, uh, or kind of like lowered down because I was moving forward. And because I saw that, I'm just gonna move backwards. Pretty simple. Just like that. Uh, I need to deal with this shield, though. Ooh. Didn't quite get it. Let's try to get this other ice school before I go for the shield. My range is not quite making it. I'm going to sneak around right here, actually. Aha. Going to wait for a shot before I go for the shield break. Again, see how I just, I just went forward and ducked under. I waited for him to shoot, and then I moved forward easily cleared underneath it. Uh, still no stamina. I think I'll take the rapid fire and just really keep pumping the attack speed. And it'll probably get hilarious at some point. Um, stacking more crit sounds kind of nice since I have the critical arrow. I really want an all-you-can-eat from a skill chest at some point. I'm just not confident that I'm going to be able to pull it right now. 
Uh, also a horde chest at islands, like the, the eight islands, like 18, 28, etc. Um, pretty nice. Nice little bump money before you uh, go into the shop. It's nice and safe. Sometimes the uh, the last island in the biome can be like one of the hardest if it's an, an arena island. Uh, I don't seem to be getting the bullseye procs anymore, so I think it's starting to wear out its welcome. I'll probably get rid of that at some point. On this island, I like to hang out right here and just sort of like, again, I'm using these these slopes to jump over enemies, and then I'll move back up the slope and jump over them again. And just sort of do this like figure eight motion, rinsing and repeating. I tend to use uh, my black hole more defensively than offensively, so you probably won't see me use it as much. Um, when things get dicey, I like throwing it down to just give me a little bit of space and re-corral things, really, is the, the main point. Let's see if there's anything over here, like a totem jumping. Nope. Uh, I'm going to keep pumping Critical Arrow. Again, like, crits... They're not going to be super helpful for me right now, especially because I don't have any, um, I don't have any extra effects like Dagger Arc or whatever. I'm, I'm all like built into the flamethrower shots at the moment and multiplying the, the low base damage to flamethrower shots, not really that helpful. But now that I have critical arrow, anytime those flamethrower shots crit, which like I'm shooting a lot, it's going to pop down a critical arrow. Uh, that might be a, a weird way to effectively exploit crit. One thing that I feel like I'm really missing right now is armor, so I think I'm going to try to go for armor for um, for this shop. I'm definitely picking up this split shot, like I said earlier in the run, or early at the start of the run. Uh, formation mods are going to be super, super important for Flamethrower, and I think I'm actually going to get rid of Recoil shot. I just don't think it's really helping me out that much. I will get a discounted Money shot. I feel like Money shot has been really helpful for my Econ. Especially considering um, I shoot so fast and there's not really a cooldown on it anymore. Uh, I really want Bubble Blast too, truthfully, because of the interaction with um, with Black Hole. My main concern with getting a bu Bubble Blast at the moment is it's going to be a little hard to equalize if I don't pick up another grenade mod, so I, I don't think I'm going to get it. Piercing Wave is sort of tempting too, but I think I would rather re-roll this and see what else I get. Uh, there's my armor. That's nice. Uh, I'm gonna. I got again. I got plenty of healing to work with, and I got a crystal totem here. So let's just hit that and do another reroll. Oh, gold heart and a collector. I definitely want the collector. I'm gonna hit the skin. Is that give me enough? No. Oh, I'm gonna need to hit it again. Let's just make sure I have enough healing here. That's the end of that. Which means I'm not going to be able to pick up my gold heart, but that's fine. Uh, I'm not going to be able to pick up anything else here. Yeah. I'm equalized, so uh, this boss should mount pretty easily. Yeah, just like that. Oh, look out for that. So, notice how... I started moving in this direction and then I slowed down during this. You don't really see this because I'm, I'm not showing my inputs, but I'm still holding right. And the, the enemy is detecting that and shooting to my right, which is why I like kind of like veered off to the right pretty hardcore. Um, but it doesn't necessarily take into account that I'm slowed down and I have a lot more room to react to stuff. So as soon as I see them shooting right, that's when I like drop or even like start dashing to the left. Um, I'm, I'm exploiting the... the AI in the game to get it to shoot where I want it to shoot. And if I wanted to continue that, I could move right to get to shoot in the right direction and then start moving left to dodge that. And I know that it's going to overcorrect and start shooting left. And then I just go back right. And suddenly I have it in a loop where I'm controlling where it's shooting and I know where it's going to be shooting at all times. Uh, our shot for sure. Our shot is incredible on flamethrower because of how long the the projectiles exist. Especially because I now that I have that split shot, uh, there's just going to be a lot of R's floating around. This might be where I start stacking the big shot a little bit more. Um, since they'll be slower, they'll exist for a little bit longer. But 
Uh, yeah, I don't I don't really need to. The R shot's really gonna we're gonna go off. <laughs> I'm gonna hit this gamble totem because I just like hitting it every so often. If I get a perk, then uh, it's a, like a 470 crystal perk. That's pretty cheap. Um, if I don't, oh well, I'm out. 400 crystals, I make that back no problem. I'm starting to feel really good about my damage. Uh, I'm gonna go more glue shot. Again, it's just it's just free damage. And as much as I want to do the double random, I think I'm gonna go with the elemental here. I sort of want to get. Um, Oh, there's the glass totem. Always check for totems before you uh, restart killing stuff. Uh, I sort of want to get a poison shot to really help out with my single target. I think my AoE feels pretty good already. Uh, especially because I'm doing stuff like that. Hey, look, my bullseye's kicking in again. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, and my honestly, my, my, my single target feels pretty good too, but poison shot would really lock in my, my single target damage. I, I won't really need to worry about it for the rest of the run. Whoa, that was spooky. Hey, look, another bullseye. Uh, I like to hang out in this corner of the map and just wait for things to come to me. Uh, sometimes things get stuck. So I'm just gonna, okay, something died by itself. I like to, if things get stuck, I'll just move slowly through this tunnel because they'll usually get stuck on one of these rocks right here or even this one right here. Uh, let's just double check to make sure there's nothing else over here. I don't think I'm going to hit these totems. This one's really tempting. All right, just one. That's kind of a weird pull, but all right. Uh, unfortunately, no poison shot. The lightning shot is tempting because it does feel like it's been doing something, but I might drop this at some point, and I know that I'm going to keep picking up fire, so I'm just going to grab that. Uh, here, I think I'm going to go for the waves because I want to start getting some epics. Especially on this map, this is a really easy map to, to win on a waves. There's this launch pad right here. Um, something that I haven't mentioned quite yet. Oh shit, starfish. Nice. Something that I haven't quite mentioned yet is that I exploit launch pads every chance I can get. Um, and I'll, I'll explain the tech in a little bit. But as you can see, if I can if I can just stay in the air as much as possible, um, that just reduces the, the chance that I'm going to get hit. Not only that, but uh, enemies will sort of... Uh, they'll, they'll pile up underneath you as they wait for you to come back down, which just like makes it that much easier to corral them. It's sort of like a pseudo black hole in a weird way. Oh, try not to mess up your, your jumps. That was really easy. So with launch pads, um, the trick here is when you hit it, you'll probably go like that high. This is about how high I'm getting. Uh, if you time a jump as soon as you hit the launch pad, you'll go significantly higher. And I'm going to be doing this every chance I get. Any island that has a launch pad, I'm probably going to be trying to find that launch pad as quickly as possible and just get in the air. Uh, this is, these are interesting choices. I think I'll take the thorn shot. Thorn shot's nice to play into like the weird damage over time thing that I got going on. Uh, as much as I want the the stamina, I'm feeling pretty good without the stamina. I'm killing things, obviously. Uh, I wouldn't mind more money coming in, so I'll do that. And I'm gonna hit this gold chest or the gold rock uh, asap and just throw it down a black hole to sort of cover me defensively. Things are dying very easily anyway. Jumping around in circles to trip out the the lightning ants. Look, they're just shooting up right off to the side. No problem. Easy. Uh, hmm. I honestly kind of like Black Tony's black card, and there's probably some math to it where like this actually outscales a lot of things by just the sheer amount of crystals that it reduces over time. I'm gonna take the bundle though. I'm gonna take the bundle though, and I think I'll go for the speed chest and try to get that stamina, especially on a horde map. For this one, I like going to uh, this launch pad and hanging out in the air right here. And then as I fall down, I just revisit the launch pad. One little uh, one little pro tip about this is that um, I could just like go back to the launch pad and hit it immediately. Wow, that was pretty close. I'm gonna turn on my pull, just give me a little bit of coverage. Um, the main thing you need to know is that if you slow down in the air to give you a little bit more air time and you hit the launch pad again, 
without touching the ground, your your slowdown will not reset. So you'll just want to make sure. So that another black hole to be defensive while they end this island. Uh, you just want to make sure you you tap the ground um, right before you hit the launch pad, if you can. I think there are some situations where like it's not safe to even do that. If there are like a lot of crabs around it or something like that. Um, but I try to do that as much as possible. Wow. No, uh, no stamina, but I did get a lot of other good stuff. I'm going to grab the juice over the supercharge because I really don't need that much more attack speed. And the extra damage from juice is kind of nice. Ooh, there's an extra chest on this map. This one's a little uh, interesting to climb. I don't really know, like, the most consistent route. I don't think it's too hard to climb up here um, without, like, grappling hook or anything. You just kind of have to find the, the right ledges to do it on. I think what I usually do is I'll, I'll jump up here and then right here and then I'll try to make this jump to these rocks over here. Oh, let's, uh, come on, don't embarrass me, game. Yep. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, cool. Notice how, <laughs> so any any environment where you see this little like ledge, these are usually, uh, you can usually jump on them. Uh, I don't know where I'm going from here though. <laughs> I guess right there. Again, for this one, I usually just like kind of jump around until I make it up. It's usually not too bad. Oh boy. Maybe we'll take it from a different angle. Yeah, okay, yeah. Once I get here, this is usually where it's good, because then I can just start climbing the crystals. I can do it, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah nope, 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 nope. I really want to show I can do this with the without the hammer. Oh my god, game, you're embarrassing me right now. Hmm. I've done this plenty of times before. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Let me go to this one. Yep, yeah, nope, nope, nope. Notice how like whenever I'm falling I use that slowdown to try to give me a little bit of extra extra time to get another dash off. Uh yep, yeah, well we'll go to this. And then I'm really trying to make it to one of these. Once I get up there it should be fine. Oh come on, video game. Wow. At this point, it might just be a point of pride to not use the hammer. Because I could just easily, like, you know, get up there. How do I usually do this? When I'm doing the Ultra Chaos runs, I don't really think about it. I just vibe, and I can make it up. Uh, Alright, let's, let's map this out a little bit. I really feel like this guy is my, my step. Oh god. And then right there? No. How do I usually do this? Is there an easier way? Oh, hold on. Hold on. We're cooking. We're cooking a little bit. And here, and here. Uh, uh, uh. Can I get to this next one? Uh. Oh. Okay, I think I can make it up there, though. Whatever, I'm using the hammer. It is possible to get up here without the hammer. I just, uh, I just don't care anymore. Good luck to anyone who tries to do this without it. And what did I get for my efforts? An ultra shot. I guess I'll take it. Uh, honestly, the double econ is really tempting, but I'm, I'm a fiend for the parkour. Pretty much an always parkour kind of guy. It's just a free epic chest, you know. My money feels pretty good um, with a double money shot. Plus I'm sure I'll find like a bonus crystals or crystal dividends at some point and that'll be enough. Maybe I'll even get a bonus crystals from this parkour. Who knows? Yeah, parkour maps you just, 
just take it nice and slow. You don't need to do anything fancy, really. You have, you have plenty of time. Uh, wow, these guys suck. Um, uh, well, I suppose I'll... No, I can't even afford the fireworks shot. Ooh, I guess I'll take the bubble blast for now. Might have to get rid of that at some point. I'll do the elemental. Start breaking these rocks because it'll get a little dicey. I'll keep them up. I like to go to this corner because if things get too dicey, if you jump right here, things will start to build up underneath you. Crabs can still get up, keep that in mind. And then you just, uh, boom, kill them all. I think I saw a homing grub. Yeah, I should be careful of that. I see there's a po poison grab as well. Poison crabs, um, just try your, oh, nice. Let's try to get away from that homing shot, nice. Um, they're not too hard to deal with as long as you, uh, you just continue to move left and right. Um, if you ever try to switch up your direction against the poison crab, chances are you're gonna get hit by like some projectiles. So just try to commit to one direction. And I think for here, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep pumping the oil can. Uh, this is just like a nice little bump up to, to to burning enemies. It's not a crazy amount of damage, but since I'm always gonna have enemies burning, then I'm just gonna do it. I don't really want to risk a one hit. Another mega crystal. Nice. That juice is actually pretty nice for my uh, ammo situation. I really want um, an all-you-can-eat, truthfully. I could probably also use an efficiency. Holy shit. Um, but an all-you-can-eat would be so good. If I get an all-you-can-eat, I could just hold down left click and, you know, everything will die. I'm going to try to break these crystals before the island ends. Because there's so many. That's so many chances to... Oh, I got hit by something. So many chances to uh, proc driller. Nice. Uh, buh. I guess I'll take the the big mag to sort of supplement my ammo situation. Another collector sounds nice. Another, hey, look, there's my stamina. Uh, Fortitude sounds nice too. In fact, I think I really want to go into this boss fight equalized, but I don't think I really need to. Uh, this might be where I get rid of the bullseye, replace it with Fortitude. And I'll get the collector because I feel like my perks are starting to really ramp up. So that feels good to me. I'm not equalized. I don't think there's, without getting rid of the bubble blast, there's no way I can get equalized, but I think I'm going to do pretty well against this boss anyway. That big mag's actually kind of nice. Use this cover as much as possible, especially against the giant ants. The big thing you need to remember about the giant ants is that um, their projectiles kind of like linger. So once, uh, once they start firing something at you, just move on to the next rock. I got one. Critical arrow is going off. It's awesome. Uh, all right, let's see what I got for my legendary. Um, definitely got to go firestorm here. As much as you know, bomb shot might like be technically better, but I'm, I'm all about the firestorm. I'm all about that fire, and I'm gonna get rid of the ultra shot. I don't know if I can even afford the next shot. Yeah. So something I forgot to mention at the start of the run is that I have a lot of keys and I don't need to pick up these keys. So uh, I'm going to be salvaging these for some extra crystals. Uh, if you feel like you need keys and you decide to pick these up, then, you know, like my econ's going to be a little bit better than yours just as a result. Uh, if you have like 100 to 200 keys, I would recommend salvaging them just for a little bit of extra cash. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it'll be, like, a little bit of extra oomph you need to get your diamond, maybe. But in any case, I don't need them, so I'm just going to take the free crystals. And then we'll loop. Uh, I'm hitting, like, the 50-minute the mark of my video. Um, so I'm going to try to speed things up just a little bit. Uh, just so I can get done in a reasonable amount of time. My damage is feeling really good, so I should be able to cruise the next 30 islands, no problem. I'm gonna try to, I apply so much fire. I'm gonna try to leave something alive so I can get to that, uh, to that top area and get the crystal. Yeah, let's do it. Wait for 
my hammer. Ooh. Yep. Yeah, okay, cool. So since there are crabs alive still, breaking these crystals will uh, give me a chance to proc an item. The crystals also have a chance to um, spawn other crabs, so if you get any up here, you just want to be careful of that. They can kind of sneak up on you. I forgot I got a stamina already. Should be exploiting that. Alright. Uh, another equalizer, that's easy, and another elemental chest. Uh, sometimes what I like to do, just as like a, a general strategy, is I'll break like a fire crystal or something open. Um, and then I'll throw a black hole in the middle of it. It's a pretty, you know, simple strategy and easy to think of, but sometimes you don't think of it. Again, just making sure I have vision of everything on the map, especially on this one where um, there's some range enemies like hanging out in the middle. Yeah, I'm glad I got rid of the bullseye because I'm trying to feel my damage wane a little bit. There's the poison shot. Yeah, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna pick that up. If I get rid of something, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of the health shot. I don't really need that. Oh, phew, this is tough. Again, I really want to try to get an all-you-can-eat. I'm just not confident that I'm going to get one. Meanwhile, luck chest, I could get an efficiency, and that would help out with my ammo. I could also get, like, a split shot or an, or an arc shot. I think I convinced myself. The horde from this skill chest is also kind of tempting. I'm going to try to get um, hordes as much as possible from here on. Uh, cause they just like, they're safer, they give me, um, they give me more money ultimately. Is that a shielded chaotic grub? Ugh. Alright, so I'm gonna do a little trick here. I'm gonna jump up here, here, and then here. And then go around. And then, whoop, whoop. And then instantly die. Ah, oh, wow, these are kind of bunk. Take the driller. So I'll, I'm going to talk about one thing about this island. This can get this island can get pretty dicey after you loop. Um, and this location right here is probably the the most or the least safe part about the island. So you have a couple options on what you want to do. Um, you could, especially with stamina and hammer, you could jump up here and then just jump over everything and try to make it to the other side as cleanly as possible. Uh, but like what you saw, what I just did there, uh, I like to do this jump to get up to this like side tunnel. One thing to keep in mind is that if you do this kind of closer to the start of the island, enemies will detect that and they'll take the launch pad to jump up here. So you'll probably have some enemies to deal with and it could get a little bit dicey depending on what these enemies are in this like tight corridor. But you know, it's a safe way to get around, especially like if you have a shielded grab like that. Uh, here I'm gonna do the elite because I feel like my damage is pretty good and I think I can handle elites. Even fire skulls. Again, notice how I'm going straight for the launch pad. Um, these elite crabs are not dying as quickly as I want them to. So I think I'm actually going to go for the elite fire skull. Because it'll stay still very easily. I can apply plenty of fire. Oh, I jumped across. I'm going to wait, chill out. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Nice. That's where that stamina comes in. Uh, so fire skulls are, and fire enemies in general, are typically like considered the hardest things for flamethrower to deal with because they take way less fire. And that's true, they are like harder to deal with. Um, this is where I find like poison really helpful because they're definitely not immune to poison. And that can help you uh, just single target them down. But also everything else gets single target down pretty easily with poison. Another R shot. Targeting shot's tempting, but R shot's just so good on flamethrower. Any chance you can pick up an R shot, would highly recommend. I'm gonna go for this double. This is gonna get a little spicy with the XL energy rings. The the main thing I'm gonna keep in mind as I do this island uh, is that if if there's too many energy rings going off, I need to just stop killing things and let them chill out. I don't want to overwhelm myself. It's also an elite crystal. Let me hit that real quick. 
Also going to try to maintain a little bit of vertical as much as possible. That was dicey. I got minigun crabs. Going to try to kite things around in a circle as much as possible. Too many energy rings. I'm going to get out. Okay, nice. We're going to black hole. Cover my, my exit. Let's... All should die. Easy. No, I do not want a sonic boom. Uh, I'll take the equalizer though. And I guess the uppercut. Uh, as much as I want to do another elite, I really want to try to fish for like a split shot or, or an arc shot. But I honestly think, you know, maybe I'll have a better chance of getting one of those from an elite than the luck chest. Yeah, I'm probably right about that. Ooh, vertical rings. On this island, I like to uh, try to exploit this... Um, oh, this is weird. This center platform as much as possible, because there's just a lot of coverage. Ooh, try to escape out of that. Fire's doing its thing. I got like 1,400 stacks on this poison grub. It probably would die by itself, but let's just get rid of it. Clear out some of these grubs. Throw down a, a black hole to help me out. See if I can pull one of the, the lightning crabs away from the other one. Again, yeah, I'm just going to use this uh, center platform as much as possible. Something that um, I think is a. Ooh, hold on, hold on. Oh, I got hit. Need some armor, truthfully. Um, something that I want to note, with, especially with stamina, is notice how like I'm using that double dash to get that initial momentum, but once I touch the ground, I'm just doing hops. I'm just doing like funny hops. Um, Dashing again right before you hit the ground can kind of like ruin the momentum that you had. It kind of like puts you back into like the dash momentum momentarily. It's kind of hard to explain, especially when I'm fighting. Um, but I'll I'll do this often where I'll just get that initial momentum for the dash and then go into a hop. And the the single hop seems like the like a really good way to keep the momentum that I need to just move around a little bit more elegantly. And then if I feel like I need to do a bit more of a um, more immediate movement, I'll do a dash off of that. Especially when I'm like fighting a, a crab or something, or a lightning crab when there's a lot of projectiles. I'll use the hops to keep me in the air and keep me moving and save the dash for when I need that more sudden moment or uh, movement. This is why I like stamina so much, truthfully. Uh, I'm definitely gonna go for the split shot here. Yeah, yeah. And I'm definitely gonna go for the health chest here and try to get some armor. This is a map where I'm going to try to hang out on the outside edge. Even though there's um, water and it's going to ruin my fire stacks, uh, I do enough damage that I should be able to just kill them through the water anyway. That that pro tip I just mentioned about like doing the dash and the hop uh, applies doubly so when I'm in the water. I think I saw... oh yeah. Ooh, I just took a really big hit from that Enrage Grub. That's not good. Need to be careful. And there's a Homing Grub on the field. Black Hole. Let's hope I get something good from this, uh, this health chest, because I'm going to need it. Enrage Grubs can be tough. Um, I think the mistake I made there... Uh, very similar to the the poison grab. If you're if you're moving left or right, just commit to a direction and don't try to cross it up. Uh, if you cross it up, chances are you're gonna get hit by one of the projectiles. And after you loop, uh, that's where you, you take a chunk of damage, like I just did. Can I reach that? Nope. Throw down black hole and try to help me out here. Gonna play this safe. I, I know the homing grub's like limit on the range, so I don't wanna try to advance at all. 
Uh, this is definitely not what I needed. That's unfortunate. Thankfully, I got a horde, so uh, I'm just going to try to play it as safe as possible. going to go immediately to a launch pad. Got to get in the air. And I'm not worried about being close to enemies at all, so I'm just going to... I'm just going to kite. I'm going to hit this one, actually. This is a, this is a favorite of mine. So see how I'm I'm doing those smaller bunny hops while I have the momentum to maintain that momentum. If I were to dash during that, uh, it would kind of like it would honestly slow me down. Um, I've, I've I've kind of found that doing the bunny hops is kind of the best way to uh, ensure that you maintain that mo momentum rather than like trying to spam dash as much as possible. This is me hitting my space button or my space bar as much as possible. And notice how I'm just kind of like. It's not really working in maintaining the momentum, but if I get a dash and then do a hop and then dash while I'm in the air, rather than trying to spam it, then I'm I'm keeping a lot more momentum and it's just adding more and more. Uh, I'm really happy that I survived that island. <laughs> Let's see what I got out of it. Uh, I actually, the hot shot is probably what hurt me the most there. I'm gonna get rid of hot shot. I feel like my damage is good enough that I don't need it. Uh, it's going to be really hilarious if I find out that that was like one of the main contributors to my damage, but I don't think that's the case. I think I think I'll be good without it. I kind of want the wind up, but I don't have any ammo solution yet, so it's going to be kind of hard to to play around. Thankfully, I made it to the shop. I can do a little bit of heal up, maybe. I got 200 crystals, 200,000 crystals to spend. There's my armor. Double check to make sure there's no reinforced. Uh, more fortitude, more fire shot. That sounds great. Uh, I'm going to grab the mega crit as well. That sounds cool. More armor. Nice. No reinforced. No reinforced. I don't think I need more attack speed. I could keep pumping the mega crits. That's kind of tempting. But I think I'd rather reroll and see what else I can get. Like more armor. <laughs> And a homing blades. Hmm. Okay. What do I get rid of for homing blades? Probably the thorn shot. How much do I need? Five thousand. Can I get rid of um? Can I get rid of lightning shot? Yeah. Yeah, I can. Let's do that. Homing blades is a huge pickup. That's gonna be really nice. Uh. I'm kind of tempted, um, I, I really need to equalize is my thing, and I think Bubble Blast is starting to wear its welcome. Um, I might be able to, let's try this. Uh, I need 16.7, this is 11.2. Yeah, yeah, this should be good. We'll get another fire starter, maximize my fire, and I'm equalized, perfect. And I got a ton of armor from that shop, that was super helpful. Uh, yeah. Uh, run is, the run is saved. Cool. Got hit by a straight attack. Missed the jump on the, the pillar. That sucks. This is kind of a dicey one with the, the double barrel skull. I'm just going to try to keep my distance as much as possible. Any chance I can get oh, to uh, break those barrels, I'm going to try to do so to do a little bit more damage since they create uh, fire pools. That guy's got 5,000 fire stacks on him. Maybe I'll just uh, hang out a little bit. Watch him die, slowly. Yeah. Play fire crab too. Yeah, I'm not even going to attack. I'm going to show off the power of the fire shot. Wowie zowie. Oh, that drill shot's tempting. I'll give it that. But I also kind of feel like I'm in need of some healing. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this heavy hitter. I think that's also worn its welcome. I, I'm going to shoot even faster now. And I'm going to pick up the drill shot, because I like drill shot a lot. Uh, I'm shooting really fast, so it's going to proc pretty often. It has its own like base damage, so I don't need to worry about the flamethrower's base damage affecting it. Yeah, I think the drill shot's going to be nice. Uh, so this is one of the newer maps that sometimes people have trouble with. Um, 
my my big pro tip with this map is uh, the way that the ice works is anything that's moving forward is going to be doing is going to be moving a lot faster. If you move sideways or backwards, uh, you you go back to like your normal momentum and your normal speed, and you'll you'll slow down quite a bit. It's really quite cool here. Uh, that includes enemies too. If they're moving forward, they're going to uh, start moving faster, and that's how they tend to catch up to you, truthfully. Um, so as long as you're always moving forward, you should be able to outpace enemies pretty easily. Uh, and that's pretty much the safest way to, to do this island, just sort of like going in big circles while moving forward as much as possible. Uh, another equalizer, cool. I'm feeling good about my damage. I'm still feeling a little questionable about my he my health, my armor situation. I don't really know what I need. like. Getting a, a silver armor from this would be nice. Getting a heart would actually be kind of nice to just to, to heal up. Yeah, I, I'm feeling good about my damage. I don't really need it. I could like swing a swing a regenerating armor. That could be cool. Although I'd even take a, a reinforced. On this map, enemies tend to spawn from a lot of different locations, so I'll, I'll usually try to to corral them all up into this corner. Oh, this is a horde. I kind of forgot already. Nice job, you know. Yeah, I probably should have killed more. Sometimes I kind of forget that I'm on a horde map. <laughs> uh, bleh. Not, not what we're looking for, but I'll take the fortitude. Ooh, we got an extra chest, thankfully. Oh god, can I get up here? I don't want an Iron Claws, that's for sure. And I don't want to do a one hit, so we're going to go for this elemental. This is a nice island too, I'm just going to throw a black hole right here and things will probably get sucked down and die. No, that was too far off. It's okay though. I do think that hotshot was contributing quite a bit to my damage. I think I'm creating, I'm getting less critical arrows, which seem to be a lot of my damage. Um, but I definitely feel safer, so it's probably worth it. Still obviously killing things well enough. I think I'm gonna keep pumping the fire shot. I'm feeling good about how many stacks I'm applying and I'm feeling good about my damage. Um, I just need to get more consistent application. I'm gonna go for the waves here. Run in the back of the same map. Uh, let's try to kill these skulls. This is awkward, actually. Oh, uh, whoop! That was close. Nice. Even when I'm moving in these big sweeping left and right motions, I'm still trying to move in and out as much as possible um, to try to trick out the, whoa, the AI. I'm just gonna throw a black hole right there. See if I can. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Hold on. Don't panic. Don't panic. <laughs> you, if you, if you fall off, you will take damage, and uh, that will end the wave. This is starting to get really awkward, though. And I see a sniper crab. Okay, don't panic again. Okay, panic. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. Still get a random chest out of it. Um, still gonna get a poison shot. Nice. Uh, yeah, I took a damage combo. Damage combo is really nice for some extra damage. This is where I think I'm going to start being a little bit more concerned about keeping um, Equalizer active. And I think the first to go is going to be this special delivery. Actually, I think it's going to be Adrenaline. I think my, fire, my attack rate is already pretty nice and good. Yeah, and I think I'm going to do another Waves. Feeling pretty good about my elemental situation. off the corner here. Gonna hit, uh, I think those uh, the lightning rocks are like the best in the game. Ooh. Got a lot of lightning crabs. Gonna reverse my direction. Ooh. Kill that ant so it doesn't sneak up on me. Just take it nice and slow. Wait until I, I know where projectiles are moving before I make any sort of movement. Especially against the lightning crabs. Oh, I gotta kill these these grubs. Ah, uh, got too distracted by the enraged grubs. Oh well, that's fine. 
Uh, the arcane blast is tempting, especially because I'm about to hit a shot, so I might be able to to equalize out of it. I think I'm actually going to replace the thorn shot with the the arcane blast. I like arcane a lot. Um, thorn shot, it's good, but I I need something a little bit extra. Oh, a big chest is really awesome. Start stacking up that armor again. It's poison shot. Get a heart to heal a little bit. And a dagger arc. That's that's awesome. Let's let's think about this before I shoot all my money. I should be able to afford everything here, but I might need to unlock a slot or something. I should replace a mod. Do I get rid of the big shot? I think I get rid of the big shot. Dagger arc is just so good. It's worth picking up. Definitely sharpshooter. Definitely fire stacks. Probably fortitude. Yeah. That feels good. I'm not equalized. Um, that's probably okay. But maybe I can get rid of something. Do I get rid of the special delivery in order to equalize just to be safe? Probably. Yeah. The special delivery has been really nice for the run so far. I see a fuse totem. I'm gonna hit that real quick. It's a shame that I still haven't gotten any sort of like ammo solution. Let's kill this home and grab as quickly as possible. I like kind of pulling everything over to this corner after I corral them all up. Some spare crabs running around, so I'm just checking my six. Okay, I think I've gotten everything. We'll just safely deal with the home grab. Seems to be something else on the map, and it just died. Crystal is cool. Down for that. About to hit another shot, actually, so. And uh, I'll go for the armor. And we'll do another health. Those are some nice health pickups. I should not have popped, the, popped those uh, purple rocks, actually. I should have waited for more enemies to come. It'll be fine. I'm doing plenty of damage. I saw a crab sort of like sneak up on my left and I didn't die immediately. Just want to make sure everything's in front of me. Throw down a black hole defensively. Honestly, a lot of times when I'm I'm throwing down black holes, I'm timing it for when I, um, I'm reloading. Um, just to give me a little bit of extra room to reload and then start spraying again. Whoa, that crab got a little slippery. More armor, sounds great. And I heard an extra chest over here. Uh, I think like the normal way you could get up here would be this. Yeah. What do we got? Uh, hmm. I'm gonna take the vitality on the off chance that I can actually fully heal off of this shop. I don't think I'll be able to, but it might also help uh, equalize if I end up finding like a, a perk that I want. Uh, I don't want the Dagger Blast, unfortunately. I'm full on armor, so I'm good to, to spend. I'm going to pick up this Critical Arrow. I actually don't think I want the Damage Shot. It's going to be somewhat expensive to unlock, and it's not really going to amp my damage that much. So I'm probably going to skip it. Another Fire Starter. I'm going to pick up this Health again to unlock that vitality, and then let's start looking for um, a perk to round this out with. I don't know what that perk's going to be. I'm definitely picking this arc chart, though, so I guess I'm not going to be running out shit. Uh, the Rapid Fire, maybe? Or the Big Mag? Yeah. Arc shot's just too important. Unfortunately, I still can't afford it, but that's okay, because I need to uh, get rid of a perk. It's probably going to be Vitality. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of a damage loss. The alternative would be Big Chest, I guess, but I kind of want the Big Chest. 
I definitely want the arc shot. So we're equalized, we're good. Let's go stuff. Gonna cause things to shoot over here first so I can get a little bit of extra room to make it to that launch pad. The barrel skull managed to jump over. Ooh. Yes, nice. Let's just deal with that first. I hate barrel skulls. Yeah, easy. We'll get the side skull too. Unless it kills itself. And it did. Cool. Nice. Doing a lot of damage. So, <laughs> if you notice, the ice will kill itself. This is a, a useful trick you can do. It's a cheese, really, but if you're against, like, elite fire crabs and ice skulls, if you can get in the air and stall in the air, and the fire crab happens to charge at you while you're in the air, chances are it'll miss you and go straight for the ceiling. And once it hits the border, it just immediately dies. And you still get the crystals, too, which is the best part. Uh, tasty orange is really tempting. I like tasty orange a lot. Um, reason being, especially in the the later islands, when you start getting the horde islands, things you'll kill them fast enough that they start scaling up and uh, getting like more uh, more health. Tasty orange just kind of lets you continue to um, to match their scaling. Plus, on, it's kind of nice on arena maps, too, because there's usually enough, like, crabs and slugs and stuff that you can build up that tasty orange and help you deal with uh, whatever else is on the map. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm a fan of tasty orange. Uh, let's go glue shot for no particular reason other than because I want to. This upgrade chest is tempting, but I'm going to try to take things a little easy. I think I, I have a build that can, can easily make it towards the end. Uh, no need to really risk losing armor or anything. Okay, I pulled everything over here. I'm gonna go to another quadrant on the map and wait for them all to come over here. I'm corralling things, keeping them in one area, and then I'll just move on to the next part of the island and re-corral them. And they're all forced to come to me and sort of like, you know, bottleneck themselves on their way towards me. But I'm a black hole to a little defensive here. Make sure nothing's sneaking up on me. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna go equalizer. It's just kind of easier to maintain the damage. Well, I don't know if it's easier to maintain the damage combo at this point, but I like equalizer. Checking around for totems first before I do this island. I like standing on this rock just because it gives me a little bit of vertical to work with. Um, in case I need to escape from things. I did not realize there was an elite crystal there. I'm actually going to leave and walk out of the cave. Give me a little cover while I deal with this. Oh yeah, there we go. Stamina's coming in clutch there. Give me a lot of speed to work with. Uh, yeah, I'd take a power punch. That actually equalizes me, too. Kind of want the efficiency, truthfully. What do I got next? Hmm. Uh, listen, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sell this efficiency. And I'm going to do the skill chest, and I'm just going to pull the all-you-can-eat. That's all. I don't need to worry about it, because I'm just going to get an all-you-can-eat right now. And that'll be fine. And I kind of like to hover around in this corner because this this is like the corner where everything needs to move towards you so you have vision on everything. If things get too dicey, you can always run away this way. Nice. So we got another black hole. Got a puffer fish sneaking by me. Uh, I think this is the last enemy. Nope. Crabs and stuff. Ah, I see there's a lightning crab. And now there's not. Alright, here's my all you can eat. Uh, well, that's unfortunate, but I guess I'll get a big mag, that's nice. Do I run it back? Yeah, we run it back. Hey look, I ran a chest. This is the map where I really like to exploit the launch pads. Uh, especially because there's two, you can usually... You can usually go to one, jump pretty high, get everything like stacked up underneath you, and then move, make your way to the other one. See a laser skull there. Laser skulls 
are one of the few enemies that can hit you pretty easily no matter what you do, so I just try to kill with them as quickly as possible. It'd be cool if I could get a Crimson Haze, but I don't think I really need it anymore. Nice. Let's get that all you can eat. Oh, oh man. More Big Mag is fine, though. It'll take more Power Punch, too. Actually, with the, the Big Mags, I'm at 113 ammo. Should be a nice, easy horde map to get me some money. I saw a crab sneak by me, so I'm just gonna wind back a little bit. Start breaking some of these rocks. Oh, I think I hit a barrel. That was cool, at least. On this map, it's currently kind of hard to see things, so I tend to... Ooh, let's kill the starfish real quick. I tend to just, like, jump... Um, over everything, go to the other side. I expect them to sort of corral themselves as they try to chase me down. I'll just kill them while I'm jumping over. I'm just rinse and repeat. Again, this is why I value stamina so much, so I can do things like that and just very safely clear islands. Uh, yeah, go another equalizer. We'll go for this horde. Like I said, I'm going to try to do hordes as much as possible. They're just safer, more crystals. It's unfortunate that I don't have like a checklist or something. Checklists can be really nice after you loot because horde maps tend to last a long time and uh, have a lot of enemies. When this, I like to hang out on this first little quadrant, but think, if things ever get dicey, I'll just jump over to this one. Wait for everything to come to me. And then I'll jump back over to the first one, and then kind of rinse and repeat, and use this as like a, a tunnel of sorts that they have to move down. Double vision. Ugh. I don't actually think I... I don't really need any of these, is the real fact of the matter. Uh, this is really tempting, but I think I'm going to play it safe and go for the Econ. Speedy enemies with spike strikes could be a little dicey if, like, some enemies got to me really quickly and I accidentally killed them and eat a bunch of spike strikes. Oh, let's get that laser crab. I can't get it. I'm gonna have to dip out behind cover, just deal with all the stuff that's chasing me. Check him behind me, any chance I get, just stay safe. Oh, fire crab, nice. That's close. I noticed it because I was checking behind me. Ooh, I like that slowdown before I got hit. The really nice thing about fire, the, the super underrated thing about fire is that I am still doing damage to things as I'm kiting around. Um, and because my, my fire application is so high, I'm actually doing quite a bit of damage. <laughs> this is, I was really hoping for like a bundle. It's kind of funny that I got the crystal dividends right now. That's fine. Got plenty of money to work with for this final boss. Let's just try to juice our, our damage as much as possible. Yep, another equalizer, sure. Supercharge, sure. Split shot. Um, I'll pick up some armor too. <laughs> Yeah, let's just end it by picking up a, a homing shot. Why not? Why not? What can I get rid of for this? Uh, the money shot. I don't need money anymore. See ya. Uh, we'll get this damage combo. Get some armor. Heal up. More of this. More of this. Yeah. Am I equalized? Yes, I'm equalized. Well, can sounds good. I don't need the gemstone anymore. Uh, Yeah, alright. I think I'm good. Again, on this map, I'm just going to try to get to this launch pad. Even on the boss map, this is definitely my my strat. Since I have stamina, I'm just going to try to dash in the air as much as possible. While everything dies. Run down. If things get too dicey, I can make my way all the way around this ring. How many fire stack? Like 500, looks like. That's it. Easy enough. 
Got a little dicey at one moment there when I got hit by the Enraged Grub. I'm glad I got rid of the Hot Shot just to sort of give me a little extra room. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful. Um, a lot of people think that, or tend to say that like Flying Thrower is kind of one of the weaker weapons. Uh, I'm a really big fan of it actually because of runs like this where as long as you really lean into the, the fire aspect and getting as much fire on the ground uh, as much as possible, uh, it can it can really do quite a bit, and it's also a really safe play style is the big thing. Like I mentioned, get a lot of fire stacks on things, get a lot of fire on the ground, so they have to move through that fire and just get more flame stacks. Meanwhile, you're just kind of kiting back. Uh, it's a shorter range weapon, but um, you know since you apply fire and everything, you're still doing that damage. Uh, yeah, I think it could be a really strong weapon. Uh, yeah, I guess with all that said, you know if you have any feedback or comments uh, about this video. Uh, if you found it helpful, you know, feel free to leave a comment. Uh, always appreciate that sort of thing. And uh, as always, uh, please respect and enjoy the crap.